Clinical scenario. A 72-year-old female with a history of hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and chronic kidney disease is admitted to the hospital for a urinary tract infection, UTI. She has been prescribed ciprofloxacin for the infection. During her hospitalization, she develops mild confusion, dizziness, and nausea. Her blood pressure is stable at 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury, and her renal function is stable with a serum creatinine of 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step to ensure medication safety in this patient? A. Continue ciprofloxacin and monitor for side effects. B. Discontinue ciprofloxacin and switch to a different antibiotic. C. Decrease the dose of ciprofloxacin by 50%. D. Increase fluid intake to dilute the ciprofloxacin in the bloodstream. E. Monitor kidney function daily and adjust ciprofloxacin dose accordingly. F. Administer an antidote for ciprofloxacin toxicity. Answer. E. Monitor kidney function daily and adjust ciprofloxacin dose accordingly. Rationale. Ciprofloxacin is primarily excreted by the kidneys, and in patients with chronic kidney disease, the dose may need to be adjusted to prevent toxicity. The patient's mild confusion, dizziness, and nausea could be side effects of drug accumulation due to renal impairment. It is crucial to monitor kidney function closely and adjust the ciprofloxacin dose based on renal function to ensure medication safety and avoid adverse reactions.